Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, uh, second round match between, let's wait for it, Cody Westwind and his Chorfs and Andy Davo and his Bretonians and in the booth with me is Squire L Dude, hello. Howdy, heck of a Bretonian team here, even if it is still just Burt. It's an amazing team, yeah, unbelievable. Oh, well, we caught it on this guy because he's, so Cody Westwind has a wizard um, and and a bribe, so only only 250 down. Um, but a much, 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 much worse team. Uh, like, what's this? Two rookies, couple of guard, and uh, and then two decent chores. So like, two decent chore blockers, no claw, and two decent bulls, except one bull has got like bonus of tackle. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty nothing Chaos Dwarf team, and it's a pretty incredible bird team with strength ups, loads yeah. of minions of guard. Um, so yeah, uh, the bulls are just bulls just aren't good enough. They don't have the guard or tackle that they would really want to have in this matchup at all. They're just they're very basic bulls and tarps. Like they're good, but like there's nothing special about them. Yeah, no, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty terrible team, and he's he's already doing the wrong thing. No, I guess he's getting the foul. Okay, I'll let, I'll let him off. Like I think you just palm, right? I think you just ch steam in and palm. But I guess it's fine. Yeah. If you pump there, he's got a dirty player there. But even then, like that's kind of worth it. Like you've got to get so lucky to win in this game that you have to give yourself a chance to get lucky. How many spares do the Bretonians have? Two. I mean, they're peasants if they're spares. First of all, so they're terrible spares. But... Yeah, two. How but many like, do like to, to win the game, what you need to do is you pump this guy, you cas him, he fouls you and gets sent off. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. the kind of level of swings that you need. So therefore, you need to attempt these swings, basically. Not leave a huge gaping hole here for no reason. <laughs> I mean, he's based the ball with strength four, based the entire right side, and give up two dice block. I, yeah. Maybe there's an idea where, oh, this is trap space, but you're just getting your players injured. Um, yeah, I mean, no, you don't, you don't go there, but it's, it was still bad. It was still, oh, wow, it's switched. Yeah. It was still bad to leave that there, but yeah, of course, mm -hmm. he just gets to bang things and blitz this and then cage here. Davo got for the surf here, I think. I don't know if there's a way to do it. Maybe if you get Giannis and Kyle, he could have gotten the surf on the Bulls and Tar, which you take literally every time, and you might even <laughs> just <laughs> let him hit the ball to get the Bulls and Tar off field. No, you want to let him hit the ball. But, uh, no, letting the ball get based was a bit of a mistake without at least having maybe a handoff option to make it a couple of that seed and a few supports here. That is a bit of a mistake. It's probably a bit more he could have done. But yeah, move that would have move been nine with break tackle, all right. If he wants to do that, yeah. just to base the ball, he can. Yeah. And the random hits he gave away for no reason re re resulted in a stun in a Kaz, and that's. I mean, don't say yeah. it's over, but it's looking about as healthy as Blood Bowl 3's lifespan. <laughs> won't mention that game ever again. Got it. I know. Yep. That's only. That's yep. only. That's rules for you, squirrel. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that is. As an American, I am used to having different rules than other people. So. Exactly. One one rule for me, one rule for everyone else. <laughs> Very English of you, Jim. <laughs> rule Britannia. Uh, oh, yeah. So at least a good palm target. I mean, is about as bad as the stars you can get. The bribe's gone, the apothecary did nothing. You have to... Oh, not, this is where I need like, get a palmer here, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you have to palm. Like, you have... Does Cody Westwood not realise how lucky he has to get to in this game? Because this is terrible. Like, this is actually terrible. He's got three guards. And Devo, with Bretonians, <laughs> has got, like, six guards or something. And, like, they're, ne they're nearly... Well, they're just as strong. They're literally the same strength, right? Strength. He's got two strength four blitzers. So to to equalise the centaurs, so he's they're actually equal strength, but Davo's got more guard. He's got more guard, more mobility. The only thing he doesn't have is the armor. But if you just get to hit the other team and they're on the ground, they can't use their armor to like hunt threat you, right? So yeah, it's... the other he is at least going for fouls, but man, when your opponent is content to carry on a peasant, that is a really <laughs> bad sign. Yeah. Somewhere someone is screaming that peasants are actually really good linemen, and um, as someone who still still did a 16 peasant team, uh, you're wrong. They're terrible. They're really bad. Um, yeah. 
that a team that has the ability to pressure like Chorks cannot force the opponent to just please use a real player so I can hit your armor value 7 guys <laughs> is pretty shocking. <laughs> Of course, these are the best peasants ever on Devil's team with like multiple block guard peasants. Like, what the yeah. earth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two block guard and the other one's got guard. Like, it's insane. I've never seen. I've never. Like, I think this is maybe. I, mean, I don't know. It's hard to say because other people have had like really good, um, like, started up blitzers. But like the the wrestlers are good as well, aren't they? The wrestlers have just got guard. Like, it's TV efficient as well. It's it's a pretty amazing bit too. Pretty amazing. Peasants with skills are relatively efficient because the mobility does they can't have does help them apply their stuff, their skills a bit more widely than say zombies. So getting like a I mean was it a block guard peasant is ninety k? That's pretty good value. Block guard then for ninety is not bad value, really. I mean, it's not bad value just because it's guard. I'd still rather have a block guard skeleton or a block guard zombie or a block yes, guard hopgoblin. Of course. Or a block guard goblin. <laughs> or a block guard <laughs> <Yeah>. halfling. <laughs> I wouldn't have a block guard snotling. <laughs> I don't know that I'd rather have a halfling, to be fair, but I'd definitely rather have a goblin. Yeah, I, I'll admit I had kind of forgotten he had a wizard in part because he's playing like he doesn't have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why he picked it up and uh, well, he caught it, didn't he? he? Caught it with a peasant. So it's you know a good play. He got he got the high kick, so he put it on the peasant. I put the peasant if in you, with it. Yeah. If you've got a wizard, you need to be doing a better job of pressuring the ball to like force him to do stuff and maybe get in a condensed situation. But there's just you're now getting fouled as a team that had a ride. Yeah. No, your, team's, your defense got split and is isolated. Yeah, this was pretty terrible from Cody Westwind. He didn't like, he didn't sacrifice position to get, you know, pom hits and fouls. He just mm. did nothing. And was, yeah. And I don't want to be like too harsh, just because you were playing the worst team, and I'm going to say they are the worst coach or the worst coach. Not because I know if they're any good, but because Davos going to have a coaching advantage against 99% of players. Yes. So. It's like saying you have a coaching disadvantage against Eliod. Well, yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, Davos, what probably one of the top three or four people in like out of the whole round of sixty-four, right? Yeah. Probably top four, let's say. Be be that kind to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a safe pass to it. So. And uh, yeah, I've got really no idea how good Cody Westland is, but. Um, you know, hasn't he hasn't done what he had to do this game, right? Like he's, I don't know if he just hasn't realised how far behind he is, or you know, like you know, he's just not playing like a cowboy enough, is he? He's playing like a rock poker player, and he's not playing like he's not playing he, like a cowboy. He's playing like he's expecting to get to overtime, which maybe is a unreasonable if you think your offense is likely. I just don't think their offense is very But he's likely. not playing like that. He's not playing like that. If you play like that, yeah. then, then what do you do? You Go fucking pom counts. every turn and you foul every turn. Yeah. You completely abandon defense and all you're trying to do is maximize your pom hits and your fouls. And instead, he's somehow getting his fucking stand firm guy fouled by a dirty player and not, you know, not doing anything. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's real bad. However, however, he's attempted to play this. It's been shit and wrong. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense, Cody Westwin. But this is absolutely shit and wrong, in my opinion, for what it's worth, which isn't much. He's got doesn't look guard, which okay, there's four more of those. Four more guard players you need to get rid of. <laughs> Birds can fall apart quickly, but not if you're putting them under such light pressure, which is what's happening right now. Ooh. Okay, power's gonna hit. This is the problem with using the Palmer this way, because you have to pile on. Don't care what the result is. I would actually consider piling that on, which is insane, but Exactly, like you've got to realize, like you've got to realize, like even if you don't realize, you know you're 250 TV down. So like that's got to give you a clue. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then 
you know, even if you can't look at the teams and see see that Davos is way better than yours, even if you can't do that, and if you can't make an honest assessment of the coaching skill involved, even if you can't do all of these things, surely you can see there's 250 TV disadvantage. One thing that I will criticize for play is you got just because you don't have a bribe anymore doesn't mean you mean you need to stop fouling. You in fact need to keep fouling. Yes. <laughs> the bribe is just there. Like you still needed to, you probably still needed to foul that plus movement blitzer. Yeah, yeah, foul is a good place for sure. Yeah, even with just one assist, despite not having a bribe anymore, it's still worthwhile to go for these fouls. Yeah, with, with a bribe you can you can try to play like how PC tried to play his game and how Ducky tried to play his game ages ago. You know, just go for mass. And, and go foul any player and try and get the snowball going. Then once you re-roll goals, then that's when you switch to targeted removals. In the exactly, exactly yeah. Yeah, he finally put pressure down with the ball. Yeah, yeah, he finally did something. And now he's going to have to score, isn't he? Yeah. But at yeah. least he gets the score. Um, you know, the wizard is not... Uh, there was actually even a case for using the wizard at the end of the turn. They'll be like, All right, if you go for an armor break, it's like, if you break armor on that peasant, like, things get weird. Yeah. For Andy, he has to, he has to then do like a 4 plus 3 plus. Um, yeah. He can pick up the ball and he probably can't score when you get the ball. So there is something there, and it might be a situation where it will be easier to score in a scattered field against the other against the, like, all tied up blocking you than it will be against normal defense. Especially since it's probably easier to score eight for like nine versus nine then it's going to be you know 11 versus 11. Mm -hmm. but, but that's probably just too high variance of a play and also if you do it you lose and it's not always it's not always great to like be like well i've lost on turn five and throw away all your other chances to win which is just getting more chances to get lucky with them pools, so yeah but davos left the middle up way open which who's to say if it's right or wrong but it's definitely wrong. Okay. <laughs> so, and the Palmer is in the wrong spot. Palmer looks like he wants to go hit the... I guess the Palmer wants to hit that blitzer. Which, okay. But this is a time where you can... Okay. Yeah. The, pom the Palmer, Palmer should blitz this peasant. Like, unequivocally, you punch this guy with one mighty blow. Yeah. And you blitz the other one with the Palmer. And then you make a big old fucking cage in the middle. And... Because you only like you know, you have three in the middle, so that you come up the middle with bodies, and there's no bodies to come up the middle. So you can you can just fully, you can fully get through. Like this is uh, this is a shit defense from Davo, I think. <laughs> Bit passive, yeah. So it it can be a chores are surprisingly good at two turning, or more accurately, they're very good at just opening up space to two turn, and that is a very good that is an incredible result. Yeah, for the yeah. Dream result for Cody. Yeah. So I was, I was saying, the Amorico Nightmare. Bonus, but... See what I did? Like the Amer yes. There you go. Because it's a Mor it's a Morica in uh, in Blood Bowl. Uh, in case uh, you don't know. I don't. Mm. I thought you were just doing like like a more a moral, like a Moracle was like a joke somehow about Chork names or something. No. I can see a chork being named like a Moracle or something. You could, yeah, but uh, no, it's a, it's a Mor Amorica is is where is where they yeah that's that's the name of the continent that uh, it was found. Yeah, there's Cabal Vision. There's a uh, you know what's it called? Oh, there's the like the National Society of uh, you know something. What I'm national. National something of countries, I don't know, but you know they, they've got they've got a bunch of things like you know, and obviously Nuffle being the god and stuff. Lots of so three pluses are a thing teams can do, you know. Yes, I don't it's... think. I mean, I've, I'll be honest with you. I've seen a bit of this match before before uh, on Art's channel. He he casted it, and uh, <laughs> it <laughs> Cody Westwind played as if uh, three pluses were impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, there was no need to potato. Like Davo's defense didn't meant that he didn't have to potato at all, at all. And he's not even in the right square because now the ball can scatter out of bounds and the chain. I mean, that's that's actually the best possible result. 
for the chores. Yeah. Because you can just get the ball now. Yeah, it literally is the best possible result. Because you can, it's more easy to get that ball and push it to where you want it to go. There's no recovery. maybe. There's no maybe, love. There's three turns and there's a wizard. There's no excuse for this. This is shit. I like, maybe he's, uh, you know, it got chalice to nerves or just having a bad day. I did actually see a little bit on Devo's channel as well, and uh, he said there was like a storm, so maybe he was, you know, worried about real life things as well, you know, who knows. Mm -hmm. But um, If he had no rerolls, doing it in the cage and basing up around is actually even better, because then Andy has to do all the stuff he did this turn just to kind of pressure the ball, yeah. <laughs> rather than getting to hit the ball for free. Yeah, so. this is real bad. Really bad. Going way. for random mighty blow hits now that you're trying to score and you need to score or not. It's a very big power on the side stepper. Because if you, like, that's such a huge, like, that was, that pushes, it's just everything over. And now you can't hit the ball, and you're gonna have to threaten it with a wizard somehow. You have to stand up and dodge the whole centaur. Yes, maybe you should have just started with a fireball. Yeah. Like, as shit as it is, maybe you just start with a fireball here. And if you start with a fireball here, and you've got two of these three down, you put the other one, and all of a sudden you've got the ball and you've got it screened, maybe. So, you should have definitely pulled the trigger on the wizard then, I think. But, I mean, obviously, he just shouldn't have played how he did. But once he's played how he did, he could have still rescued it by uh, pulling the trigger on the fireball. Yeah, maybe he got struck by lightning. Yeah, maybe Enzo. <laughs> Devo should have pulled that line in chat <laughs> when he said there's a storm he should have said have you been <laughs> have you been struck by lightning because you're fucking playing like you have been <laughs> oh wow ball down in double skulls wow you're telling me there's so, a chance I actually I, still, I, like, I love the bolt now even more Like it's, you get the ball and there's a chance to just recover yeah, it would have been alright if he hadn't won it. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, I mean, fa find it. Oh, yes. Obviously, just in looking. No, I won't give mm -hmm. in until that's, I'm that's victorious. Like, that's just and I will for you. defend. I will defend. There are some cases where I wish it wasn't a dice roll. Stupid just, giant nerd, not, not happy about the release of a perfectly good roll. game. Yeah. And more powerful. And less powerful, right? So that it just did something that was good, but wasn't. Yes, but that's not Blood Bowl, is it? That's not. Exactly. Blood... Like, that's the thing. Everything has to have a dice roll, you know? Apples, um, bribes, like all of these things. I don't like it, but it's just that's the game we've got. And thank you very much. Uh, sorry, I didn't thank a lot 20 minutes ago. Same fantastic for 13 glorious months. But yeah, the cheering fans piped in this horrendous part of Blood Bowl 3. And Tom Schniz, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 37 glorious months, three years, nine bed fever pregnancies. And, uh, yeah, not happy about Blood Bowl 3, but let's not talk about it because we've got CCL Blood Bowl 2 to commentate on for six more months. Um, <laughs> pretty much guaranteed. I think that we've got six more months in Blood Bowl 2 because uh, Blood Bowl 3 is that bad. Imagine making a game, a sequel, seven years later that doesn't kill the previous one. It's kind I mean, of amazing, seven, isn't it? Seven before, I mean, Battlefront did not kill Star Wars Battlefront 2. So. But Star was that Front, Star Wars? was already Wars? dead. Okay. But, I mean, that's a Star Wars game, right? It's not just strictly the same, is it? Like, I mean, was... it was literally, it was, the, it was DICE making a, basically the same game, but yeah. Oh, was, so the sequel was Star Wars as well, was it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Then. Well, that's... It was called a, it, there was Battlefront, Battlefront 2, and then Battlefront again, and then Battlefront 2 again. Jesus. Yeah, they do that with movies as well, don't they? They just call them, like, the same title again. <laughs> it's like... I mean, they've made Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 twice. Yeah! So... I was like, oh my god, it's getting remastered! I was, like, so hyped that they were going to remaster Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, this is just recalling this. <laughs> God. Yep, you just forfeit. Yep. That's correct. When you DC, you just lose. 
I mean, that is nice, and so it means less money wasted on an absolutely shit game. <laughs> the old 1D Blitz classic. You know, you've, so, you've got the LOS to set up however you like. You've got two string this, four blitzes this is and a case. To string four with yeah. a with blitz with a string three. I mean, I'm not saying that Cody Westwind's playing the worst game of his yeah. life, but this it, is you know, a, I hope he is. <laughs> this is an example um, of when Fenth is good. We just wanted to hold it. Does it recognize or change what they're doing because of Fend? Your Palmer cannot be going after Peasants. He has to go after something else. I don't care that their armor value 7. You have to hit something other than Peasants with your Palmer, because you can't pile on. I mean, you could still Fend. hit with a Palmer, you just need to blitz with a bull in this situation. Like, the position. Yeah. Like how the fuck has he used his Strength 4 Mighty Blow Blitzer to, like. Or, or even, this, you know, there's just the Strength 4 Blitzer. Like, how have you used a Strength 4 player to hit Strength 3? And then, like, do yeah. a one dice blitz. That's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> and yep, Dave was predictably split the team completely. And, uh, yep. He, was, he had so much access to the other side that it, it's, it's just a full screen. Like, there just isn't a way through with the normal. Because often the splitting of the team is just, oh, I've got, like, four players in the way. No, no, this is the whole team. You're just split. Yeah. Just completely. <laughs> wow. It's ridiculous, isn't it? This is But yeah, you know, you don't know what his mental state is and anything and Oh my god. I actually kinda love it. Do it. Yep. It is a desperation play and it is the right one. And it works. <laughs> he's got it and he's off. Yeah, maybe an overcommit by Devo, but then as you said, he wanted to get the full the full split, mm -hmm. didn't he? Whereas maybe as if he'd left uh, one of the strength falls behind. Uh, maybe this one on the end. And then held the end with a sidestepper. And could have had a strength yeah. fall sweeper. But... Uh, yeah, Tom, I'd say this is the best Burt team yet. It's, like, it's super TV efficient as well, isn't it? That's the thing. Like, you know, obviously... There, there might have been a better one, right? Like, because the blitzers. Two strength four blitzes is amazing, and one's got other skills as well on top of the strength four. But like you know, who knows? I'm sure somebody's had like you know a strength five blitzer and like with you know like four superstar blitzers with like multiple stat ups and stuff. So it's uh... the the, uh, the lack of stat developed stat freaks on the they they have the strength four, but you would like an agility. It's missing like an agility four thing to be just clearly dominating as the best for team, right? Yeah, like, I mean, who knows what Burt the teams have been? Uh, of like yeah. of top tier coaches, it's the best. It's the best Burt team. Like, I think Ducky sure. had some staff. Had some staff freaks at one point. I'm sure. Yeah, but yeah. But like, I, this, there's also like three guard peasants, which is insane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, having this much guard is great. It's mm. just so good for Burt, who otherwise really do not like fighting the, against Bash teams. For all the dauntless lets you do with strength players, it doesn't it doesn't ugh. not scoring. Uh why are we doing the GFI for not scoring though? The GFI that just move the GFI do. Nothing. Nothing really. You have to do two GFIs there. Then. You can't GFI and still be based. You can't just do a GFI to add a GFI to the opponent. You need a GFI so that they can't base your roll. It doesn't matter because they just have a strength four guy who can hit you the right way. So we probably should have done one more GFI down to the right. He's going to do that, so at least he's in the stall square. But just scored. Yeah, just scored. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're not going to get another turn of stall out of it, so just score. I do think it's kind of indicative of when how level two is played that like the game is in scoring margin pretty close, but also just the power of Burt's is that but you could have easily based on the situation that had been at hand that Chors could have been trying to score to go up to one here yeah. if they had uh, succeeded on the first half offense they had gotten just because. It just happened. I don't really know how Andy let himself get fresh from scoring early, so that seemed like it shouldn't have happened on that side. Yeah. But they are get they are getting removal. 
Yeah. The point where the power up all comes in. This is uh, kind of insane, isn't it? Unless he's just going to dodge. He might just use Ace until we can dodge it, and yeah, just so that you do a two plus with a reroll to force your opponent to. No, that's insane. <laughs> fully insane. It's fully insane. <laughs> Cody Westman's never seen somebody fail, uh, never seen somebody succeed an eight out of nine chance dodge. Yeah, that was insane. You just scored. Okay, you scored now if you're doing this, you have to now do a three plus dodge with this Hobgoblin to double GFI and cage. Okay, yeah, there you go. You have to do this now. So this just adds even more risk, yeah. but you had to do this now. But they all work, so it was a great play. Yeah. Yep. Take it back. Fantastic play. <laughs> Mind you, you're going to be in a situation where you're just going to be based next turn anyway. Or you could 4-3 out. You could just 4-3 mm -hmm. out, run around. 2 deem anyway, which you probably will. Because what else is he going to do? Oof. Lots of, lots of removal so far. Yeah, loads. Both teams. Oh, he does fail the dodge out. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think mean, no could have gone either way. I, th yeah. I think I would have gone this way, but maybe this way is correct. Because then you like, you're more central, aren't you, and boxing in, in mm -hmm. a bit. The problem yeah. is that if you go around this way, you could come in and uh, hit from there, which I like. So I was next to him rather than him. I don't know. I don't know which is Dave was probably right now. Yeah, so I'm, now it's not I'm will he afraid, score, which yeah. he obviously should. It's like, how, what insanity will he attempt <laughs> to stall with? I said we're just going to hit a... Oh my god, he had to not follow. Like, you you don't follow, and you stay, and then you move him one to the right. Don't you? What are we... what? Oh my god. What? <laughs> 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 Do you shit a play, guys? <laughs> just, just score, man. <laughs> you, look, I would get it. I would do the. I would just. This would be so much more justifiable. If, justifiable if the game is tied. It's mm. not. You have to score. <laughs> like you have to to extend this game. Yeah. You can't just play to ode for OT. <laughs> and this, can't play with a. All right, if all this goes right, then I play another half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he rolls the one though. Is he gonna space cadet him? Ooh, nearly. Uh, no, it was all a brilliant play, uh, Jim, because now the sure hands is there for the pickup. Yeah, he's out of bounds and into the middle of the field where he can recover it easily. Hmm. Oh, the ball does go in the crowd. Oh no. Backwards. No, it's doing the thing. Like I said, it's right there for the sure hand. <laughs> Wowie. I have no idea how he, I don't really know how he scores. It's, been, it's much harder to score now after this turn unless you hand off the bull centaur immediately. But bull just picks it up. Look, one, two, three, four, five, Runs six, to the seven, corner. eight, nine. Scores. But can you stall with the bull centaur? Could you no. pick it up and then run to the other corner? <laughs> I mean, you can't, but he will. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't, but he will. Also, I love doing GFIs one at a time as if you know. Oh, do it. God. <laughs> oh, God. Never score. I mean, it's fair enough, right? Like, you know, you think, how do you stop this strength for the blitzer scoring and stuff? But, like, you've got to try. You, like, you know, you. You know, you. you You've got to, you've got to put some faith in your defense, haven't you? He's not like, you know, there's no Patrick Mahomes on this, uh, <laughs> on this Burt team. You've got yeah. to give your defense a chance to win the game. I do think Devo has dodged relatively well. He's been very lucky, yeah. 
and GFI'd well as well. And blitzed well. Like, he's had all the dice that he needed. Like, this could have easily gone that, way worse for Dave. That said, the dice have never been that particularly hard either. So, easy to eat good ice when. Yeah, no, he's also made three cards. Like, one yeah. was a 12 blocker on like turn one, which again got hit for no reason. So, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> yeah, right, and so yeah, I'd, I'd seen I'd seen a, like a bit of this before, and it's just like he just kept playing as if like dodging was impossible. Like the way he played would have been fine against lizard men, I guess, but they weren't lizard men. They were they were Bretonians. He fails the six plus dodge. Probably should have rerolled the uh, blitz, right? Because he just needed the push. Uh, it was two three versus dodge. the five rather than, well it was only a, uh, it was only a four plus dodge right six oh yeah four plus dodge yeah 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 okay yeah 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 sorry he's got break tackle but it made the six made the pickup made the pickup a six instead Easier. of a five yeah yeah. Pick, yeah pick up not pick up being a five and not a six is a lot better it's so so much better yeah yeah and then he conceded after he failed that um which that is actually pretty gross well it pretty might hot. not be gross right because there was the storm thing so maybe maybe mm. it was like disconnected from the storm and stuff and, you know let's not be let's not be too quick to to judge and be uh nasty it might sure. have been that and he, you know you don't know what's happening in his real life and stuff i mean he might have got banned but like you know it might have been a fucking nightmare for him the whole thing because he played pretty shit mm. and the fact that he's made the second round of chalice means that he's probably better than how he played, so, you know, maybe he was stressed to fuck for the whole game and stuff, so... And as someone who's uh, played bad in a playoff game, you all, you, you do, in fact, know when you're playing badly. <laughs> it's not a thing like you're just... it just happens, you're like, man, this is not going well, I'm playing bad. Yeah. You, you know it, too, so it can pile on. Yeah. Even if you don't necessarily see the mistakes, you're just like, this is... I am not playing well, because I'm not seeing... I'm not quite understanding the position, and things are just going badly. Yeah, I mean, I I can't quite relate to that, but I can imagine that <laughs> other people think like that. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Commiserations, Cordy Westwind. Congratulations, Andy Davo. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Being glorious having you in the booth. Yep. Yep. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>